Well, hi to my YouTube subscribers. Well, Thai immigration has been cracking down on the repeated use of visa exemptions to stay long-term in Thailand. The written rule is that you can enter Thailand on a visa exemption as many times as you want by air, but only two entries per year are permitted by ship or overland. Now, the real rule is that after using some number of visa exemptions, you will be told by immigration agents not to use more visa exemptions during that year. Now, I've been hearing that immigration may limit the number of single-entry tourist visas that can be used within a year. As some agents are apparently saying that you can't spend more than 180 days a year in Thailand on a tourist visa. And the bottom line is that all of this is at the discretion of the agent that you encounter when you enter Thailand. So written rules are really irrelevant. It's up to the agent. Now, all of this makes the multi-entry tourist visa, the METV, a good option. Now, the METV will allow you to stay almost 270 days in Thailand, although you will need to leave and return every 90 days. But if you want to stay most of the year in Thailand, this is a very good option to consider. Now, you still have to leave Thailand every 90 days, but you are unlikely to be bothered about your multiple entries into Thailand if you have an METV. Now, the METV is a bit more expensive than the SETV, and there are stronger financial requirements when you apply. But given the immigration crackdowns, this may be a very good way to go for many people. So I'll put a link in the description to my video that describes how to stay for nearly nine months on an METV. Now I'll take a minute to put in a plug for my novel, Slaughtering Girl. This book tells the story of an extraordinary girl born in China before the 1911 revolution that ended the Qing dynasty. The girl is extraordinary for both her size and her skill in the art of slaughtering a talent that brings her great fame. Think of her as Xena the Warrior Princess, set in 20th century China. The book is available in paperback, ebook, and audiobook formats. I think you'll enjoy it. I particularly recommend the audiobook, read brilliantly by Kathleen Strecker. See the description of this video for order information. And now back to our video. Now here's a comment that I got from one of my viewers on this problem, and I'll just go ahead and read his comment. Hi Robert. During calendar year 2023, I had used two SETVs for 90 days each. When the second SETV was issued in Ho Chi Minh City, they put a stamp over the visa page in my passport, effectively warning Having another TR approved in the 2023 year was not guaranteed. I crossed my fingers and applied for a third SETV in Osaka and for the first time was pulled aside to make a written declaration that I was a genuine tourist, including details of my movements within Thailand to tourist destinations during the period of stay. Now, they did approve an issue the third SETV for 2023, but said they would approve this this time, but I should not apply for another tourist visa until after the 1st of January, 2024. They said that their rule of thumb, although not an official policy directive, was to approve only two tourist visas for a maximum of 180 days per calendar year. Now, my plan for the 2024 calendar year is now to use a mix of two SETVs, 90 days each, and two visa exemptions, 60 days each. But I'm not certain that this will work, but I hope it will. Uh, keep the videos coming. They are helpful to many long-term travelers in Thailand who do not qualify for other long-term visas. So I replied back that in 2024, he could consider getting an METV. So while you still have to leave Thailand every 90 days, that when you leave and re-enter Thailand, 
you're much less likely to be questioned as long as you have a valid METV. So take a look at my video on staying 90 days on an METV. I put a link to that in the description of this video and uh, consider that as an alternative. Okay, well, I hope this video was useful and I'll see you next time.